Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I wanted to talk about what I am going to pack in terms of technology for my trip to Germany that is going to last two months. So let's go. So the thing that inspired me to start this video is what do I have in my bag for work? What's in my tech bag for work? And here's my bag that I use for work. And the only thing in there is my laptop. That's it, nothing else, just the laptop. So let's talk about what I'm going to pack in terms of tech for a two months long work trip. All right, so just for this trip, I bought this bag, uh, pretty nice. So the first thing we're gonna be putting in the bag is a dog because we can't, we can't do this without a dog, right? So here she goes. Yep. All right, so here she goes. We've got a dog in the bag. So there we go. Uh, first thing we pack is a dog. So now that we have our dog, the next thing that is going to go in the bag is my 16 inch MacBook Pro that I'm going to be using for editing videos like this one. And uh, you know, just general programming and all that stuff because 58 nights in a hotel is a long time. So MacBook Pro. Next, the work laptop, which is a Dell Latitude 7420. I don't really care what my work laptop is, right, really. Uh, so since I do everything in the web browser as a cloud engineer, that's doesn't matter. The next thing we're going to put in there is a Surface, Surface Pro. So the Surface Pro, because I want to do some um, Windows stuff, PowerShell and all that stuff. So I'm going to need a Windows machine. Also, I'm going to probably be using this to plug into the TV at the hotel uh, using the USB-C port and like an adapter that I'm going to show you later to watch movies because I don't speak German and German TV is not <laughs> something that's going to entertain me for two months. So Surface Pro. Now this is the adapter I was talking about. It's uh, USB-C and it those uh, cards and HDMI and USB port. So that's what I'm going to use to plug into the TV. And I'm going to put that in one of the pockets right here. This front one where we're going to put all the small stuff that really doesn't matter. Next, I'm gonna have my iPad Pro. Is it a Pro? It doesn't say it's a Pro. I think it's an iPad Pro. My iPad Pro and the pen, Apple Pen, because I'm using this to take notes while I'm over there in Germany. I am obviously also getting a uh, lightning cable because um, I need to charge my phone. And this one has a great feature, this backpack. There's a, right here, I can plug in the USB port and I can charge my phone uh, in the airport while I walk or whatever. All I have to do is plug in a battery inside. So I will have a few of these. Uh, I don't have a final number. I'm going to say four or five of these battery packs. Not all the same. Uh, just because just because I don't know what's going to happen. And it would be very good to have um, multiple battery packs. So battery pack. Obviously, this is the charger for my phone and my Apple Watch. So this is going in there. Also, I'm going to bring my work phone and my actual phone that I'm using right now to film. Um, I'm actually going to use this phone right here that I'm filming on uh, to film videos while I'm in Germany. So look forward to more videos. Also a power adapter, right? For European plugs to American plugs. Also has some USB and like some non um, grounded plugs on the top. So this is a one terabyte hard drive that I'm going to use for my videos. Uh, the reason I use this external hard drive is because, well, one, it's big, one terabyte, and it has very quick read and write speeds, which allows me to edit a 4K HDR 60 frame per second footage uh, on my laptop fairly efficiently with this. Uh, the footage with all the rendering and all that stuff when I edit my videos for YouTube uh, can get quite big. Uh, we're talking about tens of gigabytes worth of footage that I edit down. So an external hard drive is very important. 
I'm also going to bring a charger. Uh, this is my max charger. And the good thing is everything in this backpack is USB-C. So I have an extra USB-C cable uh, on top of the Apple, the one that comes with the Apple charger. Um, and that allows me to really charge every single one of my device, including my phone and my watch. So uh, very practical one charger. I'm going to bring a second one just in case uh, the one breaks, but uh, I'm going to have two chargers. Also, I'm not, I'm going to bring one cable like this, but I bought, but I bought a European style plug for my Mac charger which means that I don't actually need an adapter to use this charger. Now I can just plug it in directly into the wall and it will work. So that makes it a lot easier. Uh, it's less awkward to travel with like the actual plugs that work rather than have the plug and then an adapter. And then if you lose the adapter, then you can't work. So having native plugs is uh, very useful even though I could probably get away with it, right? There you have chargers at work. They're probably going to have um, a place where I can buy chargers if I need to. Uh, but this is, this is great. Now, in terms of headphones, I am bringing these Bose headphones that we got when we moved office at Puma. Uh, that was like 2018, 2019. Uh, nice headphones. I don't think they're noise canceling, but they're pretty nice. So very good for the plane. I'm taking these and they also have, right, obviously a uh, jack cable, 3.5 millimeter jack or whatever the size is. And that's very useful for the plane. So I keep those. Uh, I will also have my AirPods probably. So here's another lightning cable that I'm going to bring, the USB one that plugs into my laptop charger and my laptops. Uh, so this way I can just charge it from my laptop without having the to have a USB port, so very practical. And one thing I do, because I have a lot of cables, and this is weird for some people, maybe not, because I haven't seen other people do this. The way I wrap my cords is like this. I wrap them like this around my fingers. I leave a little bit, and then I wrap this around itself. So this gives me a nice little loop, and that's how my wires don't get tangled. Not sure if anybody cares. But there it is. And I do every one of my wires like this, except this one because it came already like with a nice bow on it. I will also bring this tripod, which is also a selfie stick. Not sure if I'm going to need it, but it's always useful to have, especially since this tripod right here that I'm using is a bit tall, right? I can, I'm sitting in a chair and you can see me. So uh, if I have this one, I can also put it on a desk and just record from a desk as opposed to from uh, the ground. Also, what I'm going to bring is my microphone. Uh, so I have these lavalier mic, lapel mics right here that I use. Um, I have this one and I have a receiver, which I can actually probably show you. The battery's dead, so. But this is the receiver that I plug in and this is one of the batteries that's coming with me. So I will bring these so I can record my videos. Uh, the advantage of this is that I can be anywhere in the room and you can hear me just fine. Um, so if I want to show you things, I can have consistency across all the shots and whatnot. And um, it's practical. I can also plug it into my laptop if I need to use that for video conferencing. And that's it for this video. Uh, if you want to know why I'm going to Germany for two months, click on the link right here. Click on the link somewhere on the page and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.